Today we're checking out and test driving this beautiful 1972 Buick Skylark. We've got a pretty busy day with videos today. We've got about eight cars to do. Um, this is the first of the bunch. I'm excited to, and to check it out. And you know what? This is a super nice one. I went and purchased this one myself um, last week and uh, took it for a test drive. And as soon as I got behind the wheel, Dalton, I knew I wanted it. That's yeah, a gorgeous car. A lot of nice options too with air conditioning, original motor and training. Yeah, pretty cool. Love the color. Love the exhaust tip and the sound. You know what else? This has got a uh, factory tack. Really? Yeah, it's a Skylark with a factory tack. And the paint and body on it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, whoever did it did such a nice job years ago. That's yeah, a really nice local car show quality car. Very straight, solid paint. body. I'd call it kind of a, um, look at this. It's original interior, 80,425, see that? Yeah. yeah. It's a Survivor with a gorgeous repaint is what it is. Disc brakes on the front. And the uh, factory air is ice cold. So, um, yeah, it's a super nice car. Numbers matching, power steering, power disc brakes in the front, air conditioning, uh, bottom of the hood's painted nicely in black. Inner fenders are gorgeous. Guys did a nice job detailing it as well. Nice. These are such comfortable cars too. Just yeah. They are. You can't go wrong with the Buick Skylark or an old Cutlass, GTO, Chevelle. They're all that perfect body style. Um, as far as the grill goes, a couple little spots I thought here I seen in the grill. Got a very, very tiny little crack there. A couple uh, rock chips at the very front edge of the hood. And the bumpers are original still, Dalton. If you look, you can just see some light scratches, but all in all, Jay polished them up really nicely. Again, a couple little tiny chips, but when they did the paint job, they did a fantastic job. Back of the hood lines up great, top of the door matches up awesome. And this paint and color looks just a great, just as good as person as it does in the photos in this video. I love the choice of Boss wheels on it. Um, as far as tire size goes, we are looking at 245, 4018s. Couple of little scuffs here on the original uh, chrome. And the back tire size are 275, 4018s. Okay, nice. A um, couple more little chips. Like I said, the paint job's a little older. Still could go to any local car show and be super proud of it, um, but it's not a trailer queen. But it was done properly. Top of the dash pads, excellent. It does have a little rock chip right there at the very base of the window. And the top's in beautiful shape as well. I just put a couple pictures of the top up on the site. Um, the brown top matches the interior. Absolutely no rust or issues anywhere here in the lower quarters. Matches up beautifully to the door. Is, there is a, a piece of paint that's chipped there showing the bare metal. So when they did this, they definitely took it to bare metal. Uh, lower fender is great. Door matches up nicely. Merce, like, I want to go for a ride in a convertible. The door buzzer works, and also the seatbelt buzzer works still. When Are I was you driving, kidding me? Two of these eight that I pulled out had seatbelt buzzers working. And nice quality cars. Um, corners of the doors are great. Again, a couple chips in the door jams, but uh, all in all, really nice. Factory tack, uh, tilt wheel, um, factory power top switch here. It does not work. It's, somebody replaced it down here with a, a switch. The top works perfect. Seats are in excellent shape, but like I said, are original, so you have some very, very light cracking up here at the top. Um, back seat's original as well, and there is some stitching that's coming just a little loose, but uh, I'll take a 80,000 original my interior that looks like that any day. Absolutely. Top was replaced, wasn't it? Didn't that look Yeah, really top nice? was replaced, that's beautiful. Yeah. Laser straight, up and down the sides. I'm looking at the trunk doll, I think there's some extra parts in there. I think there's maybe some new uh, uh, of that wood grain and stuff in there. If I remember that. Um, as far as original speckling too, nice solid. Yeah, right here with air. Yep, so this has got all this stuff new. Wiring diagrams, aftermarket gauges, jack spare, all that. So. As we look up and down the passenger side, again, very straight, 
I really like those exhaust tips. Do you? I didn't know how I felt about it, but it sounds cool too. Sounds good and it looks sharp. Just gives us Skylark a little more of that muscle feel, yeah. you know? Again, the doors lined up nice, the fender. I don't think this one's gonna stick around long, D. No, I don't think so. Especially uh, door now. panels are in, sorry to interrupt you. The door panels are in good shape, but at the bottom you can just tell um, it's just a little bit warped, being original. Looks like they replaced the carpet. Um, but other than that, I think the interior is 100% original. Perfect weather for, if we're just starting to get into summer. Kind of, it's funny how it sneaks up on. You have spring for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it's 90 degrees. It's, uh, it's crazy. definitely convertible weather. You just got back from Mexico. I got back, or what? Where'd you come back from? Mexico. Yeah. I got back from Texas. We get back here, and it's hotter here than it was in either spot. It's funny how like a week away from the dealership, I get back, I'm like, holy shit, there's so many yeah. new cars to check out. I still haven't even got familiar with them all yet, but. Um, as we uh, take this one down the road, 80,425 miles. Original steering wheel, tilt wheel. Okay, tilt works great. Wipers work, gas gauge works, factory tack works excellent. Um, we're doing about 700 RPM right now. It's got the new, this is all original here, and it's got the new stuff in the trunk for it. Air conditioner kicks right on. Aftermarket gauges, 60 pounds of oil pressure. Not sure on the radio. Oh, there we go. It's got a good change for it. Oh, yeah, it really man. nice, too. Right, this is just ready to cruise. Um, this car came from an older gentleman um, real close by here, and uh, we just took it to car shows and car cruises and stuff like that. Here's what I like about it. Wait till you feel it shift. It's got a heck of a nice tranny shift yeah, to it. Smooth. Really nice cruiser. Yeah, here's our brakes. No pull left or right, and the, and the power brake pedal is way up top on it. If we shut the air off, we don't really need that going. But it is cold. It is. Nice smooth car. It really is, isn't it? Same sand with the tranny, it just shifts great. Temp gauge is coming up, carries really good oil pressure. Kickdown works good, 70 mile an hour, goes perfectly straight down the road. Again, shifts right up into third at that point. Um, here's another thing to point out. Um, we're doing about 25, 2600 RPM at 70. So really nice gears. Yep. Like you mentioned, Dalton, just a great cruiser. Something you can jump in and enjoy. Yeah, jump in, drive a couple hours to a car show or whatever you want to do with it. Just yeah, with car. air. Yeah, check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Uh, I'm always putting out new cars. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.